Hi, my name is Matt Valent. I'm with ICM Controls here in Syracuse, New York. Today we're going to be installing an ICM 518 whole home surge protector on a residential panel. It is a NEMA 4 rated box, so it can be installed inside or outside. Today we're going to be installing it inside on this panel. It can be installed as a type 1 or a type 2 device, which means a type 1 would be a licensed electrician, type 2 would be an HVAC technician. You might ask yourself why you need a whole house surge protector. Simple answer is it covers everything in your house, your refrigerators, your oven, your stove, your microwaves, your TVs, your computers, everything. So first you're gonna to wanna to locate the service panel. So it's usually in a basement or in a garage. If you're not at all comfortable with working on a service panel, by all means, get a licensed electrician to do so. So we removed the cover. You see there's a bit of a spaghetti mess in here. This is not a normal panel by any means. It's an older brand of uh, breaker, but it can be installed on this um, just as easily. You just gotta locate the right breaker that you wanna use. Today we're gonna be installing as a type two. So we're gonna be installing it on two of the breakers after the main disconnect. A type one would be installing it at the lugs, which are here on this panel. Uh, in a standard circuit breaker panel, they're gonna be at the top. Uh, but that would be a licensed electrician anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. So you located one of the three quarter knockouts on the bottom, I already knocked it out. All I need is, there's only three wires on this. You got two hots and a neutral or ground, depending on how you're gonna do it. This can also be used 110 just by using the black and the white. Um, all the wiring diagrams and installation can be found at icmcontrols.com. Put the grommet, slide the grommet down. It's a waterproof grommet, but since we're installing it inside, it doesn't matter. So now that we've got our wires, we're gonna locate the two breakers that we're gonna put this on. So this is the first two after the main disconnect. So we're gonna disconnect those and make sure we have no power there. Zero volts, you're gonna to wanna to go to neutral. Zero volts, zero volts. You're safe to work on that breaker. Okay, now we got the two hot legs connected. Let's just get the wires out of the way. You can cut that wire to length depending on where you're running it to and from. Okay, so the neutral, nice that got a little hole already in the panel here. Okay, that's installed, okay. Okay, so now we got this connected to our neutral bar. The unit wires are run safe. The unit is connected. Turn the power on. Our green light indicates that everything is good. Your system is protected. Should this green light go off, it means you're not protected. The unit needs to be replaced. So now we have our panel back on. Our breakers are engaged, our power is on, our green light is on, so it says that we are protected. One of the most common questions we get is, how many hits will it take? The maximum rating of this unit is 100,000 amps, so it'll take one hit up to 100,000 amps or several hits up to 100,000 amps. So for additional information on the ICM 518, technical specs, installation, drawings, please visit icmcontrols.com.